Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to use the tar command to backup and restore your data on Linux. To create a tar backup file, first, identify the files and folders that would be part of your backup. Run the following tar command. Let's assume we want to take a backup of the home, etc, and opt folders. In this tar command, we have used the following options. C. Create a new archive. V. Display verbose output while creating a tar file. F. Archive file name. P. Preserve permissions. As you have seen that we have not used any compression options to compress tar file. So, to compress the tar backup file during the archive use gzip compression or bzip2 compression. Use the z in the tar command to use gzip compression. This time tar backup file will have an extension of either tgz or tar.gz. Use the J option in the tar command to use bzip2 compression. This time tar backup file will have an extension of either tbz2 or tar.bz2. To append a file to the existing tar backup file, use the R option. Let's assume we want to append the greencloud.txt file to the tar backup file that we just created. Run the following command. To use exclude feature we must create a file that will have a file name to be excluded. Here, we will create a file exclude.txt containing two paths to the files we want to exclude. Then, to exclude a file while creating the tar backup, Use the X option followed by the exclude file. To view the contents of the tar backup, use the T option, the complete option would be TVF. The following example is viewing a file of the ETC folder in the tar backup. Use the X option in the tar command to extract the tar backup file, the complete option would be XPVF. This command will extract the tar backup file in the current working directory. In case you want to extract it in a particular folder then use the C option followed by the folder path. Using the following command to verify the integrity of the tar backup file. If this command does not generate any output on the screen then we can say that there is no corruption. Similarly, to verify the integrity of the compressed tar backup, use the following command. Note that, in case there is an output then we can say that there might be some corruption in the compressed tar backup. 